Governor Cecil Marie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please sit down, thank you. Asante, Asante Sana. Thank you, thank you. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, and also the part, Deputy Party Leader of the UDA Party, I want to say all protocols observed because of time. Wamama Viongozi wa UDA Hamjambo! UDA! UDA! Kazi ni kazi! Kazi ni kazi! Wamama hai! Na mimi sisikio hai mzuri. Wakina mama hai! Asanti sana. Siku ya leo na furai kusimama mbele enu witnessing the first National Women Congress. As a leader who has been a member of parliament for 20 years, I want to say this is the first time I've been in a political party that has held a National Women Congress at this level. And this is the first time that the top leadership of the country has recognized this important Congress. Your Excellency, having been a political player for a long time, I want to say, Nataka kusema hivi, wakina mama hukumbukwa wakati wa siyasa peke yake. Tunangoja, as we get near election, tunanza kusikia tukisema, tuita wa mama Nairobi, tuita wa mama Nairobi, diyo watushikilie kule mashinani. And we want to change that conversation under the UDA party. We are going to be important during elections, after elections, during the five years, and the next election. The UDA party will treat women as important part of the party. And that is why tuko hapa siku ya leo, kusema we are here, not as flower girls, but as leaders in our own right to be felt, to be heard, to be seen, and to participate in ensuring that the manifesto of the UDA party is actually realized. Ama munataka kuwa flower girls? Munataka kuwa kwa meza ya UDA? The only way we will make sure we are on the table of UDA is through this National Women Congress. We want to be as strong as the ANC Women Congress. We want the chair of the UDA Women Congress to be taken as seriously as any other leader in the country by the president and the deputy president. We want the leaders of the National Women Congress of UDA, right from the top to the grassroots, to be recognized by the leadership of UDA. The time is now for us to be felt as the women of UDA. Your Excellency, I want to add my voice to that of those that have spoken before me. Serious, strong, brave women at the national level, at the grassroots level, supported you and our president to sit in the positions you sit today. And I want to say, because I was in the 12th parliament, the women who began this movement were called Inua Mama. Simulikuwa munawaskia, led by none other than Alice Wahome. And I want to say that those women changed the narrative for William Ruto in, them, in Kenya. And I want to say that when it came to time to vote, even when we were voting BBI, some men ran away. Not a single woman ran out of that assembly. We lined up and we voted with our man, Dr. William Ruto and the, uh, Honra Bogashagwa, even as we were looking for the other men, Ishongwa, you are my witness. Not a single woman disappeared. 
So I want to recognize those brave women of the 12th parliament. You are all here. You are all here. You know yourself. Jane Kehara, where are you? Susan Keheka, Aisha Jumo, where are you? They are here. Please clap for them because these brave women made it happen for President William Ruto. And because of that, please have a seat. We went ahead and decided we are not going to elections. Kusukuma wanaume. Lazima tuingie uko na maneno yetu, our agenda as women. And we came up with a women's charter that the president signed as a commitment to the women of this country. And that charter was put together by these same women leaders you've seen and others not here. And the person who led that process was the Honorable C.S. Soipan Tuya, who is on her way. Please clap for her. So we are here today to look at that charter and ask ourselves, what gains have we made during this time for one year? Are we making progress or are we going backwards? Tutaombiwa na wenyewe. And that is why today we have Mama Wawa Mama Wote Kenya, Mweshimiwa Aisha Jumwa, to come here, Shangazi Wetu, to come here and tell us what it is the government has achieved for the women of this country. So that to see tunaingia kwa serikali, after election tunasaulika, tunakumbukwa tena towards the end. And because of the efforts of the women and the men who supported us, starting with Dr. William Ruto, the president, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, they used to come mashinani kufanya siasa, and I remember walikuwa nasema wa mama wasimame wasalimie watu. Thank you very much for giving us a chance. Sijui kama ulijua Deputy President hapo kwa kale ka staircase tulikuwa tunasimama, tulikuwa tunangangana kama wa mama. Ndiyo uweze kusimama hapo. Kwa sababu wanaume wako huko, wanakusukuma, sa zingine ukienda juu nguo inavurutu wa chini, but thank you for standing with us and for talking about us without fear or shame that we were good to take over leadership at our different levels. And because of that campaign, we now have four female governors elected under the UDA party. Out of seven elected, the party that produced the single largest number of female governors was UDA. Pigani Makofi Jameni. We then got out of the 28 elected women MPs from single member constituencies, 12 came from the UDA party. Then we got 20, out of 47 women reps, 12, is it 12? 21, yes, 21 were from the UDA party. Out of 292 MCAs elected under the UDA party, 43 were women MCAs. And I want to request that the women MCAs who are elected at ward level, please stand up. I want to tell you now that I am a governor. It is not easy to get elected as a woman MCA. It is as tough as it is to be elected as an MP, even as a governor, because the competition is extremely stiff. Wapigieni makofi tena. And then, of course, I have a seat. Thank you. Then, of course, we have nine senators nominated. We have 12 PSs. We have seven CSAs and three advisors. And then we have a deputy speaker in the National Assembly, a woman, Mwashimiwa Bos Sholei. Please stand up and uh, clap for her. Ata hiyo nataka kushkuru the president and the deputy for standing with Sholei when that decision needed to be made. Asante sana. So, we 
are here today to celebrate these gains. But these gains must have a bearing on the development agenda at the national level and the county level. You seated here as a woman leader and you've gotten the privilege to sit in the Senate, in the National Assembly, in the County Assembly. Please stand with the women agenda, however unpopular it may be. Because many times that agenda is not popular, especially with the male members, but it is the few of us who will make a difference. Just like the few of those that were behind us made a difference by pushing the women agenda. And because of that, the UDA party is going to work with the women MCAs in every county. We want to build your capacity to be able to push for bills and motions that affect women. We want to make sure you are well capacitated to push the budget making process so that the agenda of women can be taken care of in those bills and in the budget. So we will be coming to you and your excellency why we need the National Women Congress is because kuna pesa inakuja kwa chama through the political parties fad. We want a share of that budget to go to the women of this country. We want to hold forums. Tunataka wa mama wafundishwe mambo ya akpo, mambo ya economic empowerment, business, how do you start a business, how do you take simple accounting records for your business, and we want to start with the woman we used to talk about, Mama Mboga. That is where we want to start. So this National Women Congress is very, very important. Take it seriously and participate in its activities. From here, we'll go down to the grassroots to make sure it gets there. On the matter of the elections that is coming, mi misioni vile unaweza simama kuwa MCA o MP o governor na ushindwa kusimama kiti ya chama. So please, we want all of you to ensure you have a seat in the party. Whether are there polling station, ward, constituency, up to national level. Let's make sure we have our space. And I want to say this. When we were pushing for the amendments ambazo mutambiwa leo na wengiwen mulisisikia when we were here last two weeks ago, we realized that if we go by the constitution as is, we will not have enough women in all those levels. We will not even achieve 30% of women in the levels right from the ward, actually polling station to the national level. And so we had a very animated conversation for about 30 minutes. And the person who was chairing that meeting was the president himself. And I pushed the inclusion of women in those elections because I knew to kiacha it it if I nike pale chini na wanaume tutakuwa na two women ten men alafu unaambiwa wewe si unaona hata tuko na agenda tunaitangwa agenda siku hizi hata tuko na agenda ndio hawa wawili so we pushed to ensure 30% at all levels are women and I want to say this the biggest supporter for me, and that is the day I said to myself, you know, I never made a mistake. The person who supported me so hard on that table, the two majority leaders are witnesses, who supported that agenda was none other than the president. Alisema, atuezi toka hapa mbina suluisho ya kina mama. And he reminded us that the women voted for him more than the men. So I want to assure you, you have support from the president, you have the support of the deputy president, and that is why he's here today. And we will continue making sure the party gives women space so that this party can be strong, this party can move forward. So thank you very much, ladies, for taking time off your busy time back in the counties and coming to Nairobi. This is our party, 
This is our moment, and we are going to make sure we are not only seen, but felt and heard. As I sit down, I want to recognize the women who have joined UDA after elections. Some of them are here. I have seen Honorable Elizabeth Ongoro. I've seen Florence Motua right here. Akohapa Nahaogopi. We want to welcome all the women into this party. Because this party has space for women. Elizabeth Ongoro, I want to promise you, you'll never be rigged in UDA. UDA has space for women. Florence Motua, you're safe here. And any other woman out there, this is the party for the women of this country. A party that is sensitive to the issues of women. So Karibuni Sana, thank you very much ladies. We appreciate you. I love you as a woman leader. There's nothing that excites me more than to see a mass of women leaders together talking on the growth of this country. Asanteni Sana, Your Excellency, as you go back to the President, please tell him the following. One, we believed in him before elections. We still believe in him, even now and in the future. His biggest support base was the women. His biggest support base will continue to be women. We are asking him to kindly continue pushing the agenda for women, ensure women are appointed into boards, into any leadership position in the country, and because many women who did not make it and they are seated here have not gotten positions, tutakupatia majina yao umpeleke dio waingia hapo ndani. And we are asking him that after we have finished and formed this National Women Congress, as is coming in next, that we will have another bigger meeting where we will welcome him to come and participate in the women agenda of the country. As I add, I now want to invite the All right, before we go to the next phase of the program, it is now my pleasure, with great humility, to invite the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, the son of Maumau, the truthful man, to come and say a word to the women of UDA. Karibu sana, Your Excellency. Mpigieni makofi jameni. Asante sana, thank you very much. Welcome, Your Excellency. Asante, asante. Asante, please be seated.